welcome back to my channel you guys so today is Wednesday what is it September 7th <laughs> or 8th to September 7th okay um, and today is the official start of season 6 of our dance season I'm excited anxious nervous all those things you just never know how the season's gonna go I got some great new uh, additions I got three new girls um, I'm still tying loose ends with um, old members to see if they're coming back or not so hopefully everything is tied up by this week um, so I can order everything that I need to order for the the new people so yeah that's what is going on today it's gonna be hot as hell it's already 80 and it's 8 10 in the morning okay <laughs> so that's what we're working with um thankfully we're able to practice indoors um which is important because it's gonna be 97 degrees today we can't be outside and we're on a black top so that doesn't work um so that's what i have plans for today hopefully i can capture some type of footage um and yeah that's what i'm doing today what else tomorrow's thursday i'm going to the gym and try to catch some of that i am so proud i actually um tracked everything yesterday i didn't have, you know go off plan i didn't drink as much water as i wanted to probably like 20 something 30 ounces or something like that um so i started off drinking uh, my water bottle which is 24 ounces I'm almost done with that from just driving into work so I'm proud of that so I'm hoping I can get it keep it on today I have my overnight oats again I've only made for two days so I'm gonna have to make some more tonight for the rest of the week um, so that's what I'm eating this for breakfast I brought some snacks um, I got these little Sargento snacks with cheese and like the wheat thins pretty good um it says high in saturated fat when i put it into my calculator though so i only have one more left so i'm having that today uh pack me some salami which is a good source of protein for five slices is 100 calories so i have that i have two cuties um i brought like one of the um tuna pouches for lunch if i don't want to drink um a ready to drink um protein shake that we have at work that's what i had yesterday for lunch because it was just so hot and it was just refreshing just to drink something cold so that's what i had for lunch um yesterday what i had for dinner i just had ground turkey only like 3.1 ounces of ground turkey because i made spaghetti and i was like okay what am i gonna make on the side for me and i just took some of the meat out um before i added it to the spaghetti um to eat so I only had that and then um, I went and met with my friend and ex co-worker and ex dance parent last night to get the practice clothes I dropped off some more stuff to him um, I needed to order ma more jackets so I wasn't able to um, order I mean drop those jackets off to him yet because we're just gonna wait till we have all of them so you can do them all at once um, I need to order shoes some more stuff so hopefully i can get more sizing today so i can get that done tonight i'm trying to do everything as fast and quickly as possible luckily things has been coming in faster than normal like the jackets they said two or three weeks i think i got it like maybe in a week and a half or something so which is good um but yeah so i'm on my way to work it is my in the office day i'll be here until two then i have to get off and return some uh, the warm-up pants that I bought the material is more like a windbreaker material and it doesn't really work with the warm-up jackets that I bought you know the chair jackets basically so I wanted to get the pants that go with that jacket at the time when I was going to get it um, it seemed like they were more expensive and a lot of the size wasn't in stock so I'm gonna return those um, those warmer pants that look they're kind of like with windbreaker material return those it's a 25 percent restock if you which isn't that bad um they sent me the um the rma to return it so i'm going to drop that off when i leave work 
I gotta go pick up the dang label, go drop it off um, at FedEx or something so I can get my money back. And then I'm gonna order the pants once I get a count of every, everybody. Um, yeah, so that's a lot on my agenda. I still don't know what I'm doing for my birthday or my daughter's birthday. So, yeah. If you see this video before the 22nd, <laughs> give me some um, clothes. Sorry, guys. I had to put y'all down for a minute while I um, got into the gate. But, yeah. So, hope you guys have a great day today. You guys' week is going fine. Um, oh, and I got like, I forgot about my steps. I got like t over 12,000 steps yesterday, too. So, I was moving around. I did walk in this heat on my breaks, my lunch. And all of that I'm gonna try to do that again today um, the good thing is like I said you can go back in and it's air-conditioned so I don't have that problem it's just going home into that heat so I'm gonna check in with y'all later today um, once I get to practice and just let you know how that's going um, yeah I'm excited so it's a new year um, you know I'm trying to be more organized and I feel like that I, I am if people follow <laughs> You know and get things done when they're asked to be done then everything runs smoothly But that doesn't always happen some some parents are on it and they they do it and some parents You have to remind and chase and and that's what I'm trying to avoid this year so that is what is going on this year so <laughs> When you're dealing with di different personalities and different parents, you know, it is what it is I have learned that in the five years that I've been doing this um, you just never know, but I try, always try to be professional. I try to give um, parents enough notice and enough time so it's not a shock or surprise or they don't know where, you know, their money's being spent. So I always try to be transparent and open and honest and available. Um, so, and hopefully that carries me a long way. But blessings to you guys. I will check in with y'all later so I can go into this building and act like I'm working. <laughs> See y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, I am on my last break, it's 12.28, I leave the office at 2, finish working from home, um, but yeah, just checking in, it's hot, 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 I'm gonna want to move out here, I'm trying to get my steps in, um, but yeah, smell a little, I don't know if it's tar or a fire, but I can smell it in the air. Yeah, I'll just check in with y'all because um, it's going to get pretty busy today. Um, can't wait for practice and see how the new girls mesh with the old crew and how they can take on choreography and just the excitement of the new year. So, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, so I will check in with y'all later. It's at 8.05. Got to practice literally an hour ago at 7.05. We had a great practice. I'm going to try to um, insert some clips, um, you know, throughout. Because we practice today is Wednesday and we practice again on Friday. It was good. We got um, some new girls. Everyone's excited. Um, I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving where it's going. And um, I'm just excited for my business. Like, it's, like I said, last year was a hard year. I went through a lot of trials and tribulations with this dance company and doing it on my own and um, you know to where I wanted to give up I didn't want to continue anymore and um, but I love it I love dance I grew up dancing I was on a you know dance team in high school I was captain for three years um, you know I loved 
choreographing. I love performing. Um, you know, after school we had our own dance group and perform. So it was something that I always wanted to do and have a dance studio. It took me longer to get to this point. I still don't have a space, but um, by God's grace, I do have, you know, a safe place for my girls to, to dance indoors where it's cool. They're not burning up. They're not in the rain when it rains. Like, um, you know, I'm, and it's free. So I've been blessed for that. So I'm not going to complain when it's my time to get that building. I'm sure I'm going to get it. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. I'm manifesting it. I'm putting it in the Lord's hand because no matter what, like each year, I'm like, I don't know if I can go on. I don't know if we can make it. Um, you know, there is no money and it's running low and, you know, I don't have that many students, but he has blessed me to continue on, even if it's not, you know, 30, 40 students, if it's only 10, 11, 12, he's, I've always been consistently been able to keep going and I'm sure that it's going to grow 10 times more. Um, you know, I just, I believe that I'm putting my faith in the Lord that he's gotten me in the right way. He is waiting out people that don't need to be in my life and be around and he's bringing me people that you know I can learn from and grow with and um, you know this is all that I wanted um, in my life I try to keep those around me I'm really big on energy so if the energy is not right um, then I don't want to be around that person so I work off of that and just my intuition my faith so you know I'm, I'm big on integrity I'm, I'm big on loyalty and honesty and um, and that's never going to, that's just how I am, this just how it is. So my circles are very, very small, very, very tight. If I trust you and, you know, we're on the same page, then you got a friend and family for life. But the minute I feel like you, you're doing something sneaky and, and underhanded and undercut, then I, I can't mess with you. So, yeah, that's just what it is. You keep on moving. I have to lick my wounds and say, hey, I trust you and you dog me, but it ain't going to happen again. I see how you really are. You just got to keep moving. So that's what, you know, God put people in your life sometimes for a season. I know people heard this season or lifetime and you're taught lessons and I'm growing and learning from the lessons. As you've seen in many vlogs with just, you know, the Secretary of State and Business Entity and, and all the stuff that we're learning. I'm learning as I go, and I'm sure that it's only going to be up and better from here. So, there's going to be more to come. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow I go into the office. Um, I plan to go on the gym, so hopefully I can record there. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'm trying to go to the chiropractor if possible. I really need to go. My back's starting to get stiff again. Friday is practice. And um, what do I have going on Saturday? maybe take my son to the eye doctor so we'll see a lot going on but <laughs> i will check in with y'all very soon and um give you some more updates see you in a little bit hey y'all <laughs> it is still thursday i think it's thursday 3 16 my daughter just got out of school i am on my way to pick her up um i need to yeah, fell down that's a whole other story in my damn hair. But um, I gotta stop at Foot Locker because once again, with my dancers, there was a few, one was new, new registration, so all new parents, all that. So um, not too worried about that. Um, but then I had an, my old dancer registered late so I didn't get the chance to order with the rest of the order so once again these croc slides is the pain just the pain of my is this is like it just especially with the youth like the the bigger size this is fine but the youth size has been really hard to find so and since I believe they're pretty new not every you know place that sells crocs sells the croc slide so um this answer was a size two i went on there last night and um tried to um god darn it sorry this person takes forever to turn they could turn three times um 
lost my train of thought. Yeah, so went on there, could not find the two at Foot Locker or the Croc um, website. So I went to Foot Locker because I was able to find, that's where I found the size four um, in kids. And so when I went back, they didn't have any, Crocs didn't have any like junior shoes. So my coach called, cause she works for Foot Locker also. And I was like, hey, can you check to see if your store has this size or whatever? So she called around and found some at a store um, in Hawthorne, at Foot Locker in Hawthorne. And she put on hold for me, so I gotta stop by and purchase those. And then I need to stop at Target and pick up curbside order, which well, is not really order, just the leggings for um, for a dancer. And then the other ones for the adult sizes um, was out of stock in the store. So they're gonna be shipping it to me and I should get that on Saturday. I ordered so it's like trying to keep up with everything that needs to be ordered already ordered that everybody has I had to order the warm-up jackets last night I did that so um yeah I ordered more makeup bags I got some more um what is it called duffel bag um so I'm waiting for one just came in when I was on my way out the door. Um, I don't know what the little irritated him, maybe because it's hot. <laughs> Once again, I mean that's all the story's gonna be is it's, it's hot. It's 96 degrees right now and it's humid. Um, super super humid and dry heat and just like a dry, um, you know, wind. It's just horrible. So. I was in the office today. I ended up getting a migraine too. Vision got blurry, so I had to go like sit on the couch and just close my eyes for a few minutes. And I took some, so luckily it wasn't as severe as it usually gets. So dealing with that it could be stress or whatever. I don't know. I just and I'm I change the amount of calories I'm eating. So I'm like, you know, w trying to watch my calories and and track everything. So that could be another reason. Um, my birthday's in two weeks, and it doesn't look promising, guys. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing anything, um, to be honest. I really wanted to do something. Um, you know, I feel like 40 is a milestone. It's a big number. I wanted to do something for my daughter, who's turning 16. Um, but, like, the cost is, like, ridiculous. Um, and try to plan something in two weeks, which I should have been doing before, but again, the cost is very expensive. Um, everything has went up as far as bills, so it's been a struggle, and I just wanted to celebrate that. Um, but it, it's not looking promising, I have nothing planned. Um, I don't think anyone's planning anything for me, so maybe a little sad <laughs> sad birthday vlog you know what I'm saying I I don't know so I'm irritated about that um, yeah you're Ir irritated just with life in general which is every time you turn around somebody's dying mass shootings inflation um, you know feeling like you're doing all this work and trying to get there and nothing is panning out so that's I'm really stressed about that like just like working and trying to figure out how to make extra money and have time to sleep because like I said like I want to do something like Instacart or something like that but I'm like when do I have time when I have to be at home um, and then I'm back to dance and then I'm working full-time job and um, yeah so I know a lot of people are feeling the same way and feeling just like, what else can you do? <laughs> what else can you do? Like, is every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, then something happens every single time to where, you know, whatever I've saved or put aside, I have to use, I have to dip into. And that was the whole purpose of six years ago starting this dance company. Like, look, I can, um, pay attention to do. 
I can, you know, start a little side hustle, make some extra money, and it's something I love to do. But it hasn't happened like that. So I haven't made one dime, as I said in previous vlogs. I haven't really made any money, so I made a lot of changes this year. So I'm praying that, um, you know, things get a little better. Um, that stress me out. And I just want to have a good time. And, and um, yeah, I'm a little irritated. So <laughs> my vibe is totally, totally, totally off. My hair is just horrible. Like, now, granted, I just took my weave down but my hair is like so freaking thick and dry like them I was saying before like my hair broke off in them like the middle part of my hair in certain little sections and don't feel like that's really grown that much but it's only been like two months so what can I expect I did not oil it which I kept saying I was gonna do I never oiled my scalp while it was up in the weave so when it's hot as hell, I get my hair done next week. I'm putting the weave back in, um, straightening it instead of, um, you know, wavy. But it's hot. So I'm like, I was just doing it for my birthday. This, you know, um, so my hair would be done just in case I do do something. But either way, my hair would be done. Um, but yeah, yeah. Y'all, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I'm all of those things. Um, it's just a lot going on and a lot on my shoulders. A lot that I have to deal with. And um, I just want somebody to look out for me one time. Just one time. And say, hey, you you deserve a party. You deserve to be celebrated. It's all that you do. Um, instead of me having to do that for myself. So... I don't know where this truck is they going. Where are y'all going? It's one lane. <laughs> sorry, these people are stupid. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm on the freeway right now. Um, about to get off so I can pick up my daughter. But um, yeah, so I'll check y'all in a minute. On my little um, TED talks and rants. But yeah, <laughs> I'll be back. Hey y'all, we made it, it's Friday, I look an absolute mess, um, excuse my appearance y'all, I did not put nothing on my face, I barely did my hair, um, cause I work from home today so I was just dropping off the girls, look at my t-shirt, don't be a jack all your life, you can pick it up at shopenvyuniversity.com, um, remind somebody, to stop being a jackass okay <laughs> that's what that means basically um so yeah i'm not feeling too much better um you know just mentally i had a um i was telling you guys i had a migraine at work yesterday so i had like a lingering headache so when i got home and it's still hot so i ended up laying down after i clocked off clocked out at like five something a little after five and then i ended up falling asleep like seven and um i ended up waking up um putting all you know my stuff on the charger my phone on the charger my computer on the charger all that type of stuff um and i was supposed to go to the gym yesterday and that happened because i didn't reach out to me i didn't reach out to her it was just miserable and hot. Like when you are just, it's so humid that you don't want to do anything. And that's how I was feeling. And I had this headache. So I definitely need to get back in there because I'm spending my $10 at Planet Fitness for nothing. I've only been there a couple times. So it's just a lot of setbacks. We're trying to get back. Um, I'm going to try to go to the, what is it called? Chiropractor today. Maybe on my lunch or probably before I go and pick up the girls because we do have practice tonight and that way I'm not wasting gas going all the way towards that direction which is towards the direction of the school and then coming back and all that type of stuff so I'll probably do that in the afternoon it's supposed to be sorry 86 at 8.08 in the morning so it's supposed to be um, 
in the 90s humid and they're talking about thunderstorms and rain but and maybe more on the um, desert side they always say that but we don't ever get any like in my area so that's what I'm hoping for but even it's gonna be a hot rain or something because like I said it's humid um, yes yeah, so I have plans tomorrow um, I don't have to take my son to the eye doctor because they moved the appointment to next Saturday which is my hair appointment so try to figure that out um, birthday plans still a no-go still nothing planned um, and I don't think there will be so my mantra it is what it is what am I gonna do um, so to myself maybe I'll, I'll buy me something really really nice um, I don't know what yet I'm doing some stud like earrings diamond earrings but we'll see about that but since I'm not doing anything that's probably what I'll do just buy me something nice I'm, I am getting my hair done I just got my nails done. I may need to get them done by next week. Or by my birthday. So, um, so I don't have to do it this week or next week. So, we'll see. Um, what else? What else? What else? But, yeah, that's it. Um, for now, just running around like a chick on his head cut off. Because people want to register late. And that's why I stress about getting things on time and ordering everything at the same time. Because... First of all, shipping costs and then the timing because, like I said, it's been a mess trying to find a size range for everybody and uh, because a lot of places, they'll have the item in certain sizes, but they won't have it for all. And these croc slides, like I said yesterday, it's getting on my damn nerves. Uh, I went in yesterday, like I was saying, my coach had put some on hold. I get there and they're not, they're just the regular crocs. They're not the slides. So... Like I said, a lot of places don't have them. I'm going to have to call. That's what I'll do today. I'll call the Croc store and see if they have them um, at the mall. And then hopefully they do. And I can just pick them up there. They're very popular right now. Um, they're selling out. And they're new. So um, people are, are really buying them. So, yeah. I mean, the, the doll size is not too bad. I could find them. Um, you know, they sell them in a few different stores. But, like, the juniors or the, the low kids, it's very, very hard to find. Um, maybe two in the color black is what I'm looking for. So, you know, I don't want to get her any other color. And she's off. Everybody else has black because she has, like, a blue or a red or whatever, or white. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Um, need to try to throw some something in the laundry once I get home before it gets too hot um because they need practice clothes my daughter needs her practice clothes actually she has a shirt so I'm not even gonna worry about it she has shorts and a shirt um I'm gonna order too when I get home another set of shorts and t-shirts um so they can have two pair I have the leggings I just haven't given those out yet because I'm getting a logo put on, on them and now I gotta do that for the rest of the practice stuff that comes in um and yeah late registration so that's a problem always been a problem so and i'm not doing like in the past i was just like add to it or order it and you know, worry about it later but i'm not i'm not doing it this year it's not fair and it's not, not right i'm not and then you know and then chasing you down to get my money back so we're not doing that um i'm learning my lessons okay <laughs> I'm definitely learning lessons, lessons that I didn't ask to learn <laughs> that I didn't sign up for. <laughs> Damn it. So, yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm on my way back to the house. I have work, work to do. Um, I do have some declutter. I have a lot of stuff to do, but when it's hot, you don't want to do shit, to be honest. You don't want to do nothing. And when no air, I just, and I said this last year, I was like, I don't want to go another year. <laughs> in this house with no air and this year is what like each year it gets hotter and hotter and it lasts longer and longer um than the previous year and now it's humidity on top of that so you're not used to that you know humid weather out here so i'm just i'm over i'm over a lot of things i'm frustrated 
um, irritated, all those words. So, you watching this may not be the time <laughs> for you to be watching it if you're feeling like I'm feeling because I'm not about to uplift you today because I'm not in the uplifting mood today. But that may change later, but I'm just, <sighs> it's a lot going on. A lot going on with me personally and um, professionally and work. And, um, yeah, that's what it is right now. So, we shall see. We shall see what goes on today, but I already know. Um, yeah, so, let me know what y'all got planned for the weekend. Um, any plans for the month of September? So obviously, I don't got nothing. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so upset. Like, I just... I, because I'm, I know I could probably just go to a restaurant. I was trying to invite everyone and just like have like a menu and pay for it. Like that was gonna be in lieu of, the, of a party anyway. I was gonna pay for it, so that way it's just easier. Everybody come, you know, if they want drinks or something, they can pay for that. But you know, we will have a meal. Well, I mean, you know, on me. So, but the way everything is turning. Yeah. So let me know what your stresses are, what what you're going through. Like it's you know, um, you struggling with finances. How you working on it? How you dealing with that? If you're dealing with personal issues, how you working on that? If you're trying to lose weight, that's another thing. Like I'm trying not to stress because that makes it harder for you to lose weight. And I'm I'm trying to. I've tracked my food what three days now. So I'm I'm proud of myself for doing that. Um, I'm trying to stay within a calorie deficit. So it's all, it's all hard. It's very, very hard, um, to do all those things and make time for yourself and then want to be there for others. Um, and then when it's time for, you know, you to get your cup full, it's like, well, you depleted me. Can I get some back? Can you help us out? And, um, you know, that hasn't been the case. So you know like many of us we you know we put a lot on our plate and i tend to do that very often uh pile things up um and try to get it done and take on other people's stresses and problems and uh, always been that avenue for people to call and dump all their problems on me or you know um, i'm seen as the strong one in my family too but that's not the case. Like, I don't want to be that role. I don't, I don't know who even elected me to, to be in this role because I don't want it. Like, I want to be able to, I have my own issues, my own things that, to, you know, own problems to deal with. And, um, you know, sometimes I don't have the energy or the space to take on anything more. Um, and I hide it really, really well. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of family members or people don't know that I'd be struggling with a lot of stuff and I don't, you know, I, I kind of hide that so because I, you know, I don't want other people to feel sorry for me or um, you know, stressed out or they're worried about me um, so I kind of keep that to myself and I deal with it internally which is not good because you know, I tend to take, 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 take keep it in, I ball it all in and then I explode, which is not good so um, I haven't been journaling lately. I haven't been doing that. I, I have been in my daily devotionals um, that tends to make me feel better. I haven't done my morning affirmations since the girl's been home at school in the car, which I still need to do. Because um, it's only five minutes, so I need to do that once. Maybe I can get home. But, yeah, I have a plan in my mind. <laughs> I, I want to get up at five. That way I have time to do my stretches, do you know how to spend my time with God early in the morning and, and set my attention and my day off right and and it just has not been happening I've been so tired because I'm not going to bed early and then like it's a struggle for me to get up earlier than like six o'clock which before I used to be able to ooh, sleep a couple hours and still get up you know early enough you know earlier than six so yeah guys that's what it is today uh, I hope you guys are doing better than I am. Uh, and I know sometimes I'm stressing up a little dumb stuff. 
Um, but I'm about to be 40, so that's probably why. And I'm like, I'm not anywhere near I want to be. I haven't accomplished a tenth of what I want to accomplish in my life. And, you know, sometimes it's just a lack of motivation and, um, you know, a lack of someone not pushing you or being there or saying you can do it or, you know, I don't, I don't have that push, so I have to do it, you know, every year after year trying to you know maintain this dance company by myself and it gets harder and harder on you know should i continue to do this so we shall see i will definitely check in with y'all later and let y'all know what's going on hey y'all i got myself together excuse me eating i'm starving i'm eating a special k strawberry meal bar and i just got a walgreens they have all these bars at home um from work protein bars but they're chocolate and chocolate is what triggers my migraine so i'm just getting over headaches so i didn't want to do that again and i think too because back to back i had two um protein drinks ready to drink protein drinks at work and they're like dark deep like a lot of chocolate so yeah hold on anyway sorry I text my sister. So it's 3 45. I'm on my way to pick up my sister. Then I go pick up the girls. Tonight is practice. And I'm picking up my niece, um, which works down the street from um, the girls' school. So she can come to practice. I'm going to start bringing her on Fridays to video and take pictures um, for the upcoming YouTube and just like the social media pages. So that's what I'm doing. Um, they let us off early today at like 2.20, something like that. Um, because it was slow. There's nothing going on. And the weather is super creepy right now because it's like a hurricane off of like the Gulf, like Baja, California or something. So we're getting winds. It's um, a little gloomy. We were getting a little rain, little, which I said they've been saying that. And we're gonna get some rain, but it's like little sprinklers here and there. So, how the clouds and all that. Um, that's what I'm on my way to do. Um, I've been doing good pretty much in my day. My husband brought home a breakfast burrito, and I split that with him. And then I had that was at lunchtime, and um, I had a protein smoothie with some spinach, some banana, protein powder, chia seeds. I added there almond milk um yeah i'm super pissed because my daughter likes to eat ice so she'll eat all the ice and not fill up the tray and it was empty as hell when i went to go make my smoothie so i was pissed about that first off so i had that this morning i had um oats i've been having oatmeal like all week overnight oats but i didn't make any last night so i just made some little some um, oatmeal on the stove it took about five minutes I added the banana, the chia seeds, protein powder to that. Um, and that was my breakfast and coffee. I didn't have no damn water because we didn't have none delivered. Um, and no one brought any bottles home. So I had some water delivered on my way out. And then I had just stopped. That's why I was at Walgreens to stop and get a card and a little flower. Let me show y'all. This is what I got. Y'all can see it for um, a lady named Leslie. She works at the school. Um, she handles like the after school program, and she allows us to come into. Sorry, just make sure my lips is dry. Um, and she runs the whole after school program. She allows us to use um, the hall where you know the kids are at after school. Um, to practice in and today's her birthday so just a little something to show my appreciation to her because she's always so nice and so accommodating um and um so appreciative that she allows us to use the space and even when we had a banquet there she allowed us to use the space and um basically put the the daycare kids out um while we use the, the space so forever grateful to her so whatever I can do to, um, to, you know, just show a little appreciation, I do it. She's just, she's really, really nice. 
and she is a fellow Virgo. So, you know, shout out to the Virgos. I am a Virgo. September 22nd, I'm on the last day. So, as you know, I've been talking about my birthday last couple weeks, but yeah, so that's what I'm eating. It's all right, it's not all that. I'm definitely having dinner. But they had just like chocolate bars. Like I said, I didn't want to get anything chocolate. This is just strawberry. It has a little aftertaste to it. And then I got these um, almonds that I hauled from Marshall's last week. It's like five and pet. They're kind of expensive. But almonds usually are. But yeah, it was individual pet. They're just raw. Raw almonds with, what is it, 100 and, ooh, 161 calories for the pet. Just raw. No salt, no nothing. So I brought those along because I'm a little hungry. Um, yeah, I stayed full for the most part because it was a, like 12, 30-ish that I had the smoothie and the, the burrito. And yeah, it's almost 4 o'clock and I'm just eating again. I got my water, which I'm almost done with that drinking. Um, yeah, we're on our way to practice. Um, yeah. Hopefully y'all weekend going well. It's a little... The weather's a little creepy. <laughs> it doesn't look like a hurricane um, is coming or something like that. Um, tornado weather, whatever. It's windy, but it's still hot. It's 94 degrees, so it's hot. It's still humid. It's still sticky. The wind is is warm. Like it's, yeah, not the business. But luckily we'll be inside. Um, yeah, let me know. Y'all up to? Um, and I'm checking with y'all in a minute. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm back home from practice. You see my master shirt I got on, CBS Dance. We had these made last season um, by the parent, my ex -co, co worker, my friend Ken. Um, he made these shirts last season. He's the one who's making, he made the practice clothes that I have now. He's going to be doing the leggings, he's going to be doing the warm up jackets, um, some bags, so. Yeah, I'm um, back home. As you can see, it's now 7:55. I think it's still like 80 degrees outside, um, but it is raining. So the weather people shock the hell out of me because they're always wrong when they say it's gonna be rain. It's gonna be cool this day. Like nothing ever happens. But I'm happy about that. I am now chilling at home. Um, it was a long day, but productive day. I feel like they're moving along fast. Um, we have competition November 6th, so um, it's a lot going on up until then. So, yeah, but it was a good day. Um, I brought my niece up there. She has started recording um, for the YouTube channel and doing pictures for social media and all of that. So, um, yeah, 
I am um, excited about the season and what's to come of it. Um, I'm praying to the Lord Almighty that, um, you know, um, everything is better. Um, you know, that we grow and we continue to flourish and make money. I want to be able to pay my, my coaches better and more money. I want to be able to get a space that we're in permanently and we're not moving around and we have a destination and we always have a place to go and practice. We want to just do a drive by practice or extra practice or stay longer or whatever we want to do our whole classes. We will be able to do that because we have a space. So I'm praying for the Lord to guide me and um, you know, hopefully that will come very, very soon. Um, so yeah, I was just checking in with y'all to some back home to see my eyes being, I'm tired. I haven't ate yet. I'm trying to figure out what to eat. I just ordered a case of pizza. I may have a slice or two of that. So that's like 210 calories a slice. And then take my butt to bed um, while it's still cool. But yeah, so I'll check y'all tomorrow. Um, I don't think I have anything planned. And then, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow on how everything goes. See y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I woke up this morning and swear it was Sunday. Um, I was knocked out last night. I don't know, after like, it was probably a little after 10 something. I was falling asleep. I was watching TikTok, as I normally do before I go to bed. Falling asleep to that. I almost dropped my phone and everything, so I uh, ended up waking up because of that. But yeah, so today's a chill day. Um, thank God it's a little cooler. I think it's still going to be 80 something today. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. So it's a little bit cooler with the air conditioners going. It's, you know, made it a lot more bearable. Um, so yeah, it's not really a lot going on. I got up this morning. I did cook breakfast. I made um, eggs, bacon. My husband has some leftover um, breakfast potatoes that he had with that burrito. And I told you I ate half of yesterday. So it was a little bit of that left. So I just warmed that up. In the skillet with some olive oil season that I like a cup of that two um, pieces of bacon and one egg that's what I ate for breakfast I had my coffee I need to get on my water because it's already 11 and I just started sipping on some water um but yeah so trying to track I did have pizza last night later because we didn't get home till after seven something and my husband's at work and the boys were here. They had ate a little earlier, um, but my daughter didn't eat and it was late. I was like, I'm not making anything, which I should have for myself. Um, so I just ordered some Domino's. I had a couple slices of that. Um, so yeah, that's what I ate last night. Right now I'm going to, I sold two items on Bacari. I sold one of my floral, I have like a floral down to the ankle skirt. I sold that and I have like a Avengers hoodie. Um, that I sold so I need to once I do get out I need to get some more mailers for that and I need to print out the label so that is what is really hard excuse me when my printer's not working and when I'm selling things because it's hard you know for me to have to go to Staples or whatever and, and pick up the copies and then cut it and tape it down and then you know drop it off wherever so yeah so that's something um I need to do I think I'm gonna look into next week I'm just gonna get me like a labeler printer whatever a label printer um, so that way it's just easy for me to print that because that's what I'm using the printer for right now um, which I mentioned I might have to get it fixed or get a replacement because the kids are back in school and they mean to print print things out for their projects so I'm not to do that but I think I'm gonna get me a label printer because I am selling more things and that way it's just easy for me to print the label I'll stick it on and drop it off but the mailers I get from the Dollar Tree they have all sizes they have boxes it's yeah um, $1.25 now a piece I usually um, pick up four or five of those and just keep it in the house so when I do sell something I can just grab one but now I'm out so that's something I need to do and yeah that is all I'm about to do today I'm about to make the bed Fold some whites that just got out the dryer yesterday. I did clean um, the kids' bathroom or the main bathroom. I cleaned that yesterday. 
um, before I left. Um, I do have my bathroom I need to clean. I need to, um, you know, declutter some stuff in my room. Like I said, I have all these bags that either I need to donate and sell. But I need to, like, separate the ones I'm selling from the ones that I'm going to donate to Goodwill, which is, I think it's Goodwill. Right up the street from my house. Not up the street, but it's a few minutes from my, my house next to the staples where I go and print out all the labels. But I can just drive up and drop those off. So that's something else I need to do. And I think I'm going to sell, I have two Fashion Nova pieces, like a bodysuit and some jeans that I couldn't fit. And then I just was supposed to return them back to Fashion Nova and I just never didn't, never did. This past like 30 days, I think just like two months ago or something. So I'm going to um, probably post the jeans, just depends. I'll see by next couple of weeks. Um you know because if I could fit I'm um, on you know trying to get healthier so that I could drop a few pounds and maybe fit those jeans and take those with me to our girls trip to Vegas next month or the bodysuit at least so we'll see on how that goes but um yeah I get my hair done next week thank the lord because I washed it again you guys could have seen it was just like a big afro I thought it's just thicker it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker um, so I can't wait. I'm getting a weave put back in. My daughter decided she wants to get a weave. So the following week, um, the 20, 24th, um, she'll get her hair done. And that way we're not both in the shop, um, you know, cause that'll be hours. So I'll go on the 17th and, um, get my hair done. She'll go on the following weekend. Um, to get her sewing done uh, I'm gonna try to use the hair that I already have hopefully she can do something with it I do have a brand new bundle I think it's 18 inches of the wavy hair that I was wearing that she's gonna straighten and I have the hair that I took out um, wash and dry that or however she wants to do it and then um yeah so that's what on, uh, was on the agenda um, I guess next weekend but yeah today I'm not really doing too much so I'll jump back on, I guess, later and probably close this vlog, this week's vlog out. Wasn't a lot going on. Um, yeah, we did get some footage yesterday. My niece did for the YouTube channel for the dance company. So that was pretty funny to do like confessionals with the, with the girls, um, how they were feeling about practice and all that. But um, it should be funny to see how this season plays out. Um, but yeah, we're only in our second week. Not even second week. This is our first week. Second practice was yesterday. Um, so, yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm hoping to add more. I think we'll get more in January because some are coming for off of a um, like flag football cheer schedule. So, they'll be done. So, they may be coming back in January. So, I'll have a couple more girls there. Um, I'm hoping to get some more kids from the school because um, the daycare... Um, person that runs it she asked me about flyers and parents are asking about after school programs so she gave out all the flyers I left there so I'm gonna bring some more flyers um, to give to her and um, yeah hopefully I'm praying and I'll at least get if I can get like ooh, a good five this season I mean I'll, I'll be grateful and blessed because we're, we're more than you know we kind of replace the ones that we lost um, and added a couple more to that so um, I'm blessed for that and I'm just praying that it, it continues to grow to where it's just so many kids I need to turn away that's my goal is just to get to that level um, so yeah pray for me send me some suggestions in the comments um, and let me know what you think about that but yeah so that's all I'm doing today straightening up um, if it stays cool enough then I'll start washing Get laundry ready if not then I'll do it early in the morning um because they need all for school for the upcoming week so yeah I will check y'all later hey y'all um, I'm just checking in back with y'all still Saturday yes I still look hot mess um I'm actually getting some work done <laughs> laying in bed on my laptop and I'm working on the dance website updating some pictures um updating calendars all of that so that's pretty good 
we um, are getting everything started for the YouTube channel so I'm working on that um, yeah. yeah yeah I'm thinking about doing another YouTube channel with my sister and I we started a podcast we did like one episode we didn't post because I had bought a recorder horrible quality it had good reviews I don't know how but horrible quality to where you couldn't even use distorted can hear it so um, yeah I have to figure out how to do that next but look forward to that but yeah that's what I'm doing right now um, things more than watching Netflix watching um, a stand-up by David A. Arnold which is sad because uh, I follow him on TikTok. He's a comedian. He just passed on Wednesday. So rest in peace to him. And thoughts go out to his family. Um, they look very, very close. He's a very funny man. Um, I knew of him from, I believe the show is called Black Love, um, where they talk about, you know, black marriages, um, you know, famous couples. Um, some non-famous. Um, it's a great show. I think they're on their last season. It just episodes just started coming out for the last season. Could have been like three or four seasons. Um, don't quote me on that, but check it out when you get a chance. But that's why I know of him before. Um, came across him on TikTok from on my um, for you page and um, started following him. He's just hilarious. And then. I had just seen a clip of him on yesterday on TikTok. I was going to TikTok, seen one of his posts, and then scrolled up, and the next post down was saying that he had passed. So it was just crazy on how, you know, you're here today, gone tomorrow. He looked very, very healthy. He had a lot of, um, you know, he has a tour going on at the time. Like, he had this special come out, so it seemed like he was on his way. Um, and you just never know. He was really young. I think I'm like 54. So I say all that to say this is like pushing me more and more to do the things that I want to do. Um, and stop being so scared to do it and get it done. Because you just never know. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, and I'll check on y'all later. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, just a little quick haul that just came um, to the door. Let me just show you. We just got some tater bites, shredded potatoes, two Minute Maid, one French punch, French, one fruit punch, one tropical punch, some more go gurts for lunches, um, coffee creamer, Pop Tarts for breakfast, honey buns for the kids to take to school, some more coffee pods, Cheez Its. Um, Rice Krispie Treats, more Pop-Tarts and chips, and then we got some bottled water. So, very, very small haul. Like I said, we still have other, like, meat and all that type of stuff, milk, cereal. This is just for them to take to school for snacks. So, this vlog is over for this week. Um, not a lot going on this week, um, so the video shouldn't be that long that I'm going to edit. And get up today or later tonight I have to go pick up my mom from the train station later on today so and I'm still washing clothes getting prepared for the week so please like this vlog if you like it I like it dislike it click the like button subscribe please hit the all uh, notification bell so you can get the videos that I upload weekly um, if you please anything that's um, been posted on this week's vlog in comments and um, you know not mean opinions but just anything that you can um, offer shed light on please drop it in the comments and I will see y'all next week peace